Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting Lethis. Yes, another free guild steel helm from the Cities of Sigmar army box that was sent to me only by Games Workshop to build up and paint for all of you and that is exactly what we are doing today and we're going to jump in and we're going to start doing it. He's been primed in grace here as has the rest of our Cities of Sigmar stuff and the colour we're going to be using first is Shyish purple. And we're going to be applying this over the top of the chest bit around here and over the top of the diamond on the shield. So with that done, we've actually applied it over the top of his kind of skirt as well. But what we're going to do whilst we're waiting for it to dry is we're going to take some black Templar and we're going to apply this over the top of the wood of the shield. So with that black Templar applied to the shield, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some rattling grime and we're going to apply this to the trousers and the shirt. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Volupus Pink and we're going to apply this over the top of our purple. And this is just going to change the properties of it somewhat, but it's going to give this really lovely deep wine colour. Which is exactly what we want. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade and we're going to apply this over the top of the wraps on the boots. And on the arms.
And so with that Agrax shade applied, we're then gonna take some Black Legion and we're gonna apply this over the top of all of our remaining leather details. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some wild wood and we're going to apply this over the top of the handle of the hammer. Now some of you would have noticed I've applied black over that right hand and that's because he's wearing a glove over the top of his leather wrap. And with that done, we're then going to take some Gilliman flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of the face and the other hand. And so with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down iron warriors and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the armor and the weapon details. And we're not going to apply this over the top of the trim on the shield, nor the decorative elements on his helmet. And so with that done, we're then gonna take some thin down Balthazar gold. I'm gonna apply this over the top of all of our remaining details. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Null Oil and we're going to use this to shade all the silver, all the Balthazar gold and all the Agrax Earth shade. Just whilst we're waiting for that null oil to all dry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Barracknar Burgundy. And on the shield facing here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna apply this over the top. Just to brighten it up a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and avoid those little rivets. Just like that sort of thing. So with that Barracknar Burgundy applied, we're then gonna take some Agrax Earthshade shade and we're gonna apply this over the top of the Balthazar Gold. So with that done, our Lethys Free Guild Steel Helm is now 
at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. However, we're not going to leave him there, no. We're going to brighten him up and we're going to do this by adding some highlights. Now, we're going to start with all the purple. And the colour we're going to be using first to highlight this is some thinned down demonette hide. And we're just going to pick out all the edges. Just like this. But what we're also going to do with the demonette hide is we're going to highlight the black leather as well. With that demonette hide all applied, we're then going to take some thinned down slanesh grey. I'm going to use this to add a little spot highlight to all of those black and purple details. I'm just going to pick out the sharpest points here. So with that done, all of the purple is now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Dawnstone and we're going to use this to highlight the wood on the shield. And so with that Dawnstone all applied, we're then going to take some Administratum Grey. I'm going to use this to pick out the bottom parts of the shield. Just like that. And what we can also do is we can add a couple of these little tiny highlights up here in the rest of the wood. Still sticking with the administratum grey, what we're going to do is we're going to use this to highlight the trousers that we did with Rattling Crime. For that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Screaming Skull and we're going to use this to highlight the boots. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron breaker and we're going to use this to highlight all of the silver. And with all that iron breaker applied, we're then going to take some thinned down Rune Lord Brass. I'm going to use this to highlight our Balthazar Gold areas. So with that Rune Lord Brass applied, we're then going to take some Flayed One Flesh and we're going to use this to highlight the skin.
and with that flayed one flesh applied we're then going to take some black legion just a small amount of this here i'm going to use this to paint in the eyeballs And with that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take a really tiny little diddy dot of Screaming Skull. I'm going to apply this in the corners of the eyes. So with the base now complete in the same style as the rest of the Cities of Sigmar stuff, our Lethys Free Guild Steel Helm is now finished. It's a brave soul who should want to live in the realm of death as a living being. <laughs> but they're really, really cool. I love, I love, love, love that purple. It's really dark, lovely wine stained color. Really, really nice. And I think it just works as a really gloomy look for the Steel Helms. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support me a little bit further, you absolutely can do. Head over to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And you can also become a YouTube channel member, just like this incredible bunch of folks scrolling up on the screen before you. There's a hell of a lot of you. And, well, I can't do this without you. YouTube and Patreon, you guys absolutely keep the lights on and make all of this worth it thank you so much to all of you for everything you do and if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks you can click on the thanks button just below this video don't forget to share it like it comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon in the next one happy wargaming <laughs>